In our last video, we talked about the pathogenesis and symptoms of MS. Now let's talk about the management of the disease. There's currently no cure for multiple sclerosis, but medicines and other treatments can help control the condition and ease some of the symptoms. Treatment for MS depends on the stage of the disease and the specific symptoms the person has. This includes treating relapses of MS symptoms, treating specific MS symptoms, and treatment to reduce the number of relapses. A flare-up of symptoms can sometimes be caused by something other than a relapse, such as an infection. Treatment for a relapse usually involves either a five-day course of steroid tablets taken at home or injections of steroid medicine given in hospital for three to five days depending on the severity of symptoms. Steroids can help speed up the recovery from a relapse, but they don't prevent further relapses or stop MS getting worse over time. They're only given for a short period of time to avoid possible steroid side effects such as osteoporosis, weight gain, and diabetes, although some people will still experience problems. Not using steroids more than three times a year will also help to reduce the risk of side effects. MS can cause a range of symptoms that can be treated individually. Many people with MS experience fatigue. That is why some doctors prescribe a medicine called amantadine, an anti-dyskinetic medicine used to treat Parkinson's disease. However, this medication may only have a limited effect. MS patients should also be given general advice on ways to manage fatigue, such as regular exercise, keeping healthy sleep patterns, and avoiding medicine that can worsen fatigue, including some painkillers. Your doctor may also look at whether anything else might be causing your fatigue, such as depression, trouble sleeping, or a medical condition such as anemia. They can then offer treatment if needed. Muscle spasms and stiffness can be improved with physiotherapy. Techniques like stretching exercises can help if the movement is restricted. If muscle spasms are more severe, the doctor may prescribe a medicine that can relax muscles. This will usually be either baclofen or gabapentin, although there are alternative medicines such as tizanidine, diazepam, clonazepam, and dantrolene. These medicines all have side effects, such as dizziness, weakness, nausea, and diarrhea. Although MS can't be cured, there are medicines that can help people have fewer and less severe relapses. These are called disease-modifying therapies. They are taken either as a pill, an injection, or an infusion. They aim to reduce the amount of damage and scarring to the myelin sheath, which is associated with MS relapses. These treatments may also help to slow worsening disability in MS, although definitive research into their long-term benefits is limited. Disease-modifying therapies aren't suitable for everyone with MS. They're only prescribed to those with relapsing remitting MS or some people with primary or secondary progressive MS who have relapses. People with progressive MS who don't have relapses are very unlikely to benefit from the treatments and could still experience side effects from them. Some examples of these drugs include teriflunamide, interferon beta 1A, interferon beta 1B, gladarimer acetate, and fingolimod. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked our content, please like and subscribe to see more. See you next time.